This video is brought to you by Private Internet Access. So for some reason, a lot of you love to send me weird, sketchy, malicious files. And for some other odd reason, I love to open them. Some guy DM me on Instagram saying, yo, I got this like 25 gig pack, but you're trying to open it? And I said, yeah, send that shit my way. So this is what we got here today. Obviously not ran on my main PC. I have like an extra laptop plugged into an Elgato and I'm just viewing it. So it's like I'm using a VM technically right now. So this folder is called Cracked X1 Boost AIO. I don't know what any of this means, but it seems to be coming from some underground communities that do fraud and scam online. There's a bunch of fraud Bibles in here. And there's a bunch of ways of uh, stealing accounts in here that I took a quick peek at. So this seems to be from some sort of community that makes these things and then they sell them. So there's a folder called video pack. Let's open that up and see what it says. There's 15 videos, 10 carding videos, PayPal videos, phone videos, RDP, socks, five tutorial, 10 best places to buy Bitcoin. Basic Amazon account checkout method, carding without credit card, easy cell phone carding. Whoa, it shows his phone number, the SSN, everything. Yo, this guy is doing uh, like a PayPal type of credit card fraud. This is actually, this is exactly what someone did to me when they charged back $2,000 on my live stream that one time and I got really, really pissed off. They actually make fake PayPal accounts with people's real information and they act like it's actually them. They make all these purchases and then they charge them back and say that it's fake. All of these files teach you exactly how to get free stuff, which are, by the way, is entirely legal and I'm not going to show you how to do it. But all of these files claim, like look, this one right here says uh, dark web, where the fuck is it at? Dark web browser, site and link, credit card, response codes, how to get ATM card with cash. How to hack someone's laptop 2019. Oh, I have, to, I have to watch that one. I have to view this. What is this? IP address. Generate a link which you send to your victim. If you click set, his IP will be sent to your email box. Okay, so they teach you how to like log an IP, which is some fucking noob shit. After you get him IP address, <laughs> you need to give them this batch file. For that, you can change it to .exe or put this batch file in a program. You can put it into an Instagram bot or a view bot or anything. And what you're going to do is connect him with remote access app if you can find it on Windows search bar and IP address you got before. So this actually wouldn't work unless you have all of the ports on your computer and on your router open. So this one's called Just Eat. It's an online food order service. It acts as an intermediary between independent takeout food outlets and customers. It hurts to see 10 to 20 euros come out of my online banking for food. Why does that hurt? You know what hurts more? Digesting food that you stole, you cuck. If the agent is nice and warm-hearted, she'll offer you a full refund and a credit voucher. Refunds can be debited to the cardholder or credits. Holy shit. So these scammers, not only are they scamming products and shoes and Apple's products and Nike shoes and stuff, but they're literally scamming food and then they're eating it. DDoS programs? Oh, fuck yeah, dude. That's that's what I'm talking about now. Now we're talking business, baby. This is the DDoS programs that they give you in this folder. Holy shit, this is beyond illegal. I don't recommend this, but there are a ton of files right here teaching you or even showing you how to actually DDoS. Look at all of these booters. Holy f shit, no way, bro. Look at all that right there. Oh my God. If I just drop my real IP address, I can DDoS myself with this program right here. Is that how it works? Warning, might hurt. And then you would just put in the IP address and I guess it would do its magic. But then like, where's the botnet? Who's, whose botnet are you using? Are you just booting off of your personal private IP, which will send you straight to jail? Extreme DDoS attack V1.1. Oh yeah, the anonymous profile. Oh, let's go, baby. Extreme DDoS attack. Oh, fuck yeah. We can choose the power level. Let's go. Let's go. Over 9,000. Over oh, 9,000. Order a package to someone else's address. After it's been delivered, go ask for your package. Say it got delivered to the wrong address. Oh my God. That's genius. I never thought people would have actually done this. So they're basically saying that if after you do your illegal business, which I'm not going to tell you more about, then you send it to somebody else's address so that they can take the blame for it. And then you just knock on the door saying, hey, you know, I'm your neighbor down down there, whatever. Uh, I bought a package and it came here. Is it fine if I take it from you? And then usually they're like a nice neighbor. They say, oh, yeah, sure, go ahead. But they don't even know that they literally were just the middleman for your credit card fraud. So they literally did an illegal thing by giving you that package. So if anybody asks you, comes to your door saying, yo, man, I got this brand new PlayStation 5. It's, uh, it's, it's on the porch. Can I take it, bro? Tell them fuck no and call the cops right away because they definitely tried to do this method right here where they act like you're the person that did it. So this test manager is looking really sus. There's a program with no name on it and there's another program called Explore. And if I try to kill it, it comes back right away. Like this is really, really weird. If I go to open file location, it's hiding itself in the Windows resource themes pack 
which shouldn't normally be a virus, but it's hiding itself there to make it look like it's real and it's actually a true explorer program. I could have avoided all of this by using private internet access's antivirus. They actually just came out with it and it's fully, fully secure. They actually allow you to choose which data is being sent to their servers and not. Private internet access is also a VPN that you can use on up to 10 devices simultaneously for one account. They're actually giving you, a viewer of this video, within the first 10 minutes of it dropping two six month PIA codes to use right now. So if you go to my Discord server right after this video drops and say literally anything, I'll DM you a private internet access code to use a VPN for six months for free. They have a fully encrypted tunnel, so if you're on any public networks or you just wanna get your real IP address leaked, like myself, because you will get DDoSed. Why'd the chat stop, boys? Boys. I'm being DDoS. Spoof your city, state, or even country with 78 countries and over thousands of servers that private internet access gives you access to. If you sign up before October 25th, you'll be getting a three-year VPN with two months free and an additional three years free of their antivirus for only $2.08 a month. This is one of their best deals yet. Nitro Sniper? Oh, Nitro Sniper. These things are f***ed up, bro. Okay, so look, check this out. A Discord Nitro Sniper, actually, I'm pretty sure there's guys in my Discord server that have it set up and I can't do shit about it. It's basically when somebody sets up a fake account to redeem every single Discord Nitro that's sent as a gift in your server and it snipes it instantly, faster than any human being can press accept the gift. Enter your Discord token. Yeah, f*** that, I'm good. Once someone has your Discord token, your account is GG unless you change your password right away. But your Discord is actually f with the sniper thing? Every single public Discord server that has over like a thousand members, I can guarantee you has at least one Nitro Sniper in it. PayPal Receipt Generator? You gotta be f kidding me. Yo, this one, this one. PayPal Receipt Generator. Oh my God, bro. So scammers make it look like they actually made the purchase with a fake receipt generator. They print it out and then they show it to the buyer or whatever reason. Oh my God. This is a fake receipt I just made right now. You received payment of euros from Lucid Crying. Wow. Ransomware samples that roar. My, oh my God. Let's, what the fuck, bro? What the fuck is that? I can't take it off. You got to. You I got can't. To I can't take it off. I, I can only hide it. I can only hide it. What the fuck was that? Okay, let's see what this one is. What the fuck? No, 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 no. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I can't. I can't fucking. Bro, what the fuck? Uh, can I X out of this shit? What the fuck? Why is it not letting you X out? It's not letting me X out of it, bro. Oh my god. That was fucking weird. That was so fucking weird. <laughs> It was, it was under a folder called malware samples that whatever it was like a malware samples folder and that was not malware that was just weird pictures that i can't delete anymore i'm a happy virus oh my god bro what the fuck is going on hey, bro this thing is getting destroyed right now bro this is literally getting fucking pounded look at this look at this it's it's like a non-lethal virus that's happening right behind me right now it's making like a thousand dialogue boxes don't worry it was a joke your computer is okay no fucking way no Oh, that was kind of cute. Oh my God. I, yeah, dude. I was getting like a little bit nervous and then I was like, you know, I'm just fucking with you. You're good. If you have any weird files that you want to send me so I can open up and make videos on, please send them my way. I will probably open them as long as they don't sound too illegal or too nasty. Thank you for watching this video. Check out lucidmerch.com. You literally got like 24 hours before it's fully gone. Stay dreaming. Stay lucid. I'm out. Peace.